Hello, this is Stefan Marek from Conductor, and welcome to this hands-on where we're going to learn how Conductor integrates with monitoring in Apache Kafka. Conductor supports two kinds of metric system right now. It supports JMX and Jolokia, and we're looking into adding Prometheus. So maybe Prometheus will be added by the time you watch this video. Anyway, so we need to get metrics from Kafka, and Kafka has a system called JMX to start exporting metrics. Now, in the configuration of the Docker Compose file, I added these two lines right here, JM exports and 9999, and then JMX hostname. So these configurations, you don't have to worry about too much, except when you set up your own Kafka cluster, of course. But what this will do is that this will expose some metrics on the port 999, which is a port I have exposed right here in my Docker Compose file. So very easy to just get started. As long as we have a Docker image that has one Kafka broker, I did expose the port 999 for you to do the JMX. So we'll just do the Kafka, the ZK single, Kafka single file. Okay. And we'll do it up. So this is going to start Kafka. And I need to start Docker, obviously. So I just started Docker. Let's run the command again. And here we go. Now my Kafka broker is started. So this is perfect. So now let's go ahead and configure our Kafka broker with JMX. So for this, I'm going to start Conductor. Okay, so I have Conductor. And what I'm going to do is just create a new cluster. So I'll call it my local Kafka with JMX. The Bootstrap server is localhost 9092. This hasn't changed. But under the metrics tab now, we're going to enable the metrics. And we can set up either Jolokia, which is an HTTP Java client, uh, agent, sorry, or JMX, which is something we have. Uh, they both provide the same functionalities within Conductor, it's just a different way of getting the metrics. But Jolokia is an add-on you have to add onto your Kafka cluster, while JMX is something that is already embedded within your Kafka cluster. So we can configure JMX, and when we're done, we click on Test JMX Connectivity. And if you get an OK, that means everything works. To be fair, JMX can be quite complicated to set up sometimes. So if you don't get an OK, don't stress out. And this is why people have Jolokia as an alternative, because it is much simpler and HTTP-based. OK, so JMX is good. The connectivity is working. I'm going to save my cluster. And I want to show you what's the difference. So let's give this cluster a different color so we can look at the configuration and say, OK, you're going to be the red cluster and connect it to Kafka. Now, when we have the opportunity to connect into Kafka using um, the uh, JMX, we are getting more information around, for example, the brokers. So as you can see here, the version, we have the Kafka version that's exactly correct, as well as the uptime and some information around the configurations of our brokers. If we don't have JMX enabled, then you can see that these informations are not correct. So let's go back and go to a cluster. So I'm going to go to uh, my local Kafka, okay, this one, and connect to it. So as we can see now, we have 2.5.x, which is the same version as the one we have, but it's not the exact same Confluent version as we have, so it's just an approximation. And we don't have information around, for example, uh, the uptime of your server. So it's really, really important for you to have JMX to get some more information within the conductor. So if I go back to my local Kafka with JMX, as we can see, the version is different and the uptime is different. Amongst the other things you can do right now to get with JMX is to get some information around the topic throughput. So once we go there, we are able to get some information around the bytes in and bytes out of my topic to get some information as whether or not it is being actively written out to or, uh, or not. And again, so let's switch and go to my local Kafka without JMX and go to topics. As you can see, we get no information around the bytes in, bytes out in this view because we haven't enabled JMX. So in our opinion, we are enhancing Kafka with JMX wherever we can. So this is some behind the scenes update. But if you do have a way to pull metrics out of Kafka, then please enable JMX or Jolokia, which will enhance your conductor experience. To get some more information around what the metrics do provide, please check out the documentation page where we have a much more exhaustive list of all the things we improve in conductor thanks to metrics. So thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it and I will see you in the next lecture.